Miss Melissa from Melissa's Creations. Whew, oh my goodness, today has been a day of videos. I have been doing a lot of videos today, but I wanted to come on, I wanted to say hello, and I wanted to give you guys a makeup day because I wasn't able to do stamping Saturday, was it last weekend or the weekend before, and I wanted to get on and get live and get chatting with you guys. I haven't seen you in such a long time. So I have a very special project for you today. We are going to be making a project with my favorite brand new stamp set from the Occasions catalog. Not only is it a stamp set, but it's also a bundle and it has a, an amazing product of sweets suite of products. <laughs> it's the Petal Palette Bundle. Comes with some coordinating framelits, guys, and this stamp set right here. Uh, it is just absolutely one of my brand new favorites. They are just so great. Not only do you have the beautiful artwork in one of these packages, but you also have a plethora of sentiments and these fun little background polka dot images. So to show you the card we're making today, there we go. This is the card we are making today, Best Wishes. It is made with Knight of Navy cardstock along with one of our brand new ink colors from the 1719 collection, Lemon Lime Twist. And we have this fun little background piece here and our beautiful label along with some gorgeous ribbons. So that is the card we're going to make today. This is our project. I love it. I love it so much. If you are joining us live, be sure to share this video with your friends and family, your neighbors and coworkers, because this card is too cute not to share. For those of you that follow my YouTube channel or are subscribers over there, thank you for that. But I also posted a video today that used the actual cutouts from this Knight of Navy piece of cardstock. Now this is the second project to that piece of cardstock that I cut. Here's the base that I cut and I used these on another card. Um, my Petal Palette Masculine card, which is actually this one here. So this is my video that just posted today over on YouTube. And here is the negative from that. So I'm going to use this and turn this into this card today. I thought that that was so fun and really bright. It's just such a fun card. So I'm taking that Knight of Navy card base that I have already cut my images from. And I'm just going to fold it in half and give that a nice solid score, just like that. I also have a piece of Lemon Lime Twist cardstock, which is the same size as a standard card front. So this measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. This is going to go on the inside of our card to give us that beautiful two-tone effect through our cutouts. So we're going to put that on in just a minute, but we're gonna do our ribbon first. So we're using Lemon Lime Twist. Now this is our finely woven ribbon, and I just, I love how it feels. It's kind of soft, but also firm at the same time. It's a lovely, lovely ribbon. We're also going to use our beautiful Whisper White Organza ribbon. I think these complement each other really well. I think that they're beautiful ribbons together. Now what I want to do is put this down first. And I just want it to wrap around my card a little bit. So I'm going to chop off so that there's about a half an inch on each edge. So we're going to cut it right about there. Set that aside. I'm gonna take my fast fuse and put a little bit on each end. I'm gonna find the middle of my card, which is right about here. And then I'm gonna wrap that ribbon around and tuck it behind itself so that you can't even see it on the front. So that is what the inside of our card looks like at the moment. We're going to do the same thing with our organza ribbon. 
just gonna cut a length so we have a little bit of overhang on each side. So about right here. And then I'm going to, since that ribbon is so thin, I'm going to actually put my fast fuse on the inside of my card here, like this, right on those ribbon pieces. Then I can stretch this across and center it up and then just tuck that ribbon right behind. Just like this, okay? So it looks a little messy on that side, right? Well, don't worry, that's why we have our lemon lime twist cardstock to go on the inside. So I'm going to put some of this all the way around. We're just going to put that right down. Now it's basically the exact same size. I tried to cut it just a gauche of an amount smaller than an actual card front so that I could have just a teeny tiny border going around. So I might have needed to cut just a little bit more off, but I'm just gonna use my bone folder and crease that and we should be good to go. There we go, just like that. So there is our card front so far. Now we get into the fun part and we get to do a little bit of stamping and a little bit of big shot work. Lemon Lime Twist cardstock scrap along with a Whisper White scrap. I'm going to mount up my sentiment. So on my original card, we used Best Wishes. So this card, I think I want to do from the heart. I just love that sentiment and I think it's so beautiful. So I'm going to grab that out and I'm going to mount that up on one of my acrylic blocks. Knight of Navy classic stampin' pad. I'm going to stamp that down onto our scrap paper. I think I have enough scrap paper here. We'll find out. We will quickly find out. <laughs> And that's all the stamping. Now you can certainly do more stamping, but I like the simplicity of this card and we just have the sentiment to really shine bright on that white cardstock. So I'm gonna set this all aside so I can get my big shot in the picture here. I'm grabbing my magnetic platform. You want one cutting plate on top of that. And then we will put our cardstock in. And I think I can do two at a time from the petals and more thinlet dies. I'm going to grab out a couple here. So we're using this beautiful label. Hi, Simone from Germany. Oh, wonderful. I'm so glad you could join us. We're going to use that label on our sentiment. So we're just going to center that up. And then we're going to use this super fun piece. It is super so fun. I love it. What do you guys think of that piece? There's so many different things that you can do with that, I'm sure. Hi, Sheila. Good to see you joining us. So I'm going to put that right down onto my lemon lime twist, and we're going to run those through with a cutting plate on top. I'm going to run it through one more time just to make sure that that lemon lime twist piece really got cut. I think we are good. Yeah, we should be good with that. I'm going to use my die brush to get all those little pieces out. And our sentiment here came out lovely. So cute. We're going to be actually trimming this down a little bit too. And I have one of the die brush foam mats in a wood stamp mount case. It just kind of helps to contain all the little bits and it's a perfect size for this foam. I have my die brush and I'm just gonna run that across and it comes right out. You can use that die brush to get all the little bits out of your piece. And then all the little pieces that didn't fall out, you can just go over a couple more times. And you may need 
the paper piercer to get some of those little teeny ones out, but I'm just using my fingernails and they're coming out just fine. Just like that. All right, set this aside and bring in my pieces here. with my other card as my example. I'll set that right there. So we're gonna trim this down a little bit just so that we can see more of this fun piece because if we didn't trim it down, it would cover up everything except for the edges pretty much. And I like being able to see the loops on the top. So I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm using a long pair of scissors because it will reach from end to end and I'll have better chance at keeping it straight. Now you could certainly cut this on the Stampin' Trimmer or a trimmer of your choice, but I just like using my scissors because I can get a nice straight cut. So we're gonna do that there. I'm lining up the very, very tip of my scissors and that will help me get the straightest cut that I can get. There. We just trim that little bit off, just like that. I'm gonna flip this over, take some of my snail, run that right on the back. And then I'm gonna center this guy on that beautiful trellis piece. It does look like, kinda like a trellis. I just love how it looks. I wanna put it on everything. <laughs> I think it's so pretty. All right, there's that. Now we're gonna take a couple of glue dots and we're gonna put those, we're gonna sneak them right underneath our ribbon here just to hold it in place. We'll do a couple on each side. And then we'll do one in the middle here under our white ribbon. And you won't be able to see that because it'll be covered up. So now with a few dimensionals, just gonna put those right on the back of this. And you won't be able to see those either because they'll be hiding behind our white sentiment piece. And then one in the middle. And of course, you guys know, if you're a follower of mine, if you've seen my YouTube videos, if you've been with me for a while, you know I like my bling. So I'm definitely going to have to add some pearls. We're just gonna put that right in the middle, right there. And our finishing touch, grab a couple pearls. And this is the old style, but I need to use these up. They're still the same size, but our new pearls don't come with the strips like these used to. So we're just gonna put one large pearl on each end, just like that. Yay, and we're done. What do you guys think? Did you like that card? This is the card that went up on my YouTube channel today, and I cut these pieces out from the Petal Palettes framelits, and I cut them out of this blue cardstock here, so I used the negative images to make this card. I think it turned out super cute. Now, one other thing that you can do when you're making this card here I did glue down these little loose pieces. I used my fine tip glue pen to kind of glue all those little bits down. I did not glue them down on this card, but I probably will because I just, I don't want those to get snagged and rip off. So I'm probably going to use my fine tip glue pen and just kind of tack a couple of those down. And I love that you can get double duty out of the framelits. So just because you cut this out, think about a future project that you could make 
and get it ready for another card because I cut two of these out for this card and thought to myself, well, goodness, that looks kind of cute. I think I'll use that on a card base. If you have not received or ordered petal palettes yet, the petal palette stamp set and the petals and more thinlet dies, you can get these in a bundle, save 10% when you do. They are in the occasions catalog right now. They are beautiful. And I was just telling somebody earlier today that my customers and all of you guys, all my viewers are probably going to get sick to death of seeing all of these cards done with Petal Palette because this is my favorite set, I think, ever now. I mean, it used to be like, oh, this is one of my top 10. And then, oh, this is one of my top five. And then I made five other things with it. And I'm like, okay, this this is crazy. This is my absolute all-time favorite. I cannot get over how adorable this set is. So yes, if you don't have it yet, you're going to want to pick it up. So just to let everybody know, I am doing a occasions catalog launch for my VIP customers. To become a VIP customer, all you have to do is place an order. You get access into my exclusive Facebook group for customers only. Once you're in there, you will get to see lots of sneak peeks and I do some videos in there. We have sketch challenges every two weeks and it's a lot of fun. So I hope that you are going to be able to be part of that customer base and be involved in that occasions catalog launch party. But if you are not able to do that, I am so glad that you're here to watch this video with me for, oops, <laughs> let me turn it around so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Now it's right way. I'm so glad that you guys are able to join me for this card. I will be putting this onto YouTube. So if you want to watch the replay in an edited version with a little bit less blank or rambling on from me, then you can certainly do that. This is the first card. It's up on my YouTube channel right now. That's the second card. I love these. I love these. They're both, they can both be masculine cards and it, they can be feminine cards too. I quite like blue and green together. I think it looks really, really, really nice. But I am so wanting to make this in a black and pink version. Can we just say berry burst and basic black are a match made in heaven? Maybe with some gray in the middle? Oh my goodness. That would be so elegant and classy. I am real on board with getting that design going. All right, you guys. I think that is it for me for now. Thank you everybody that was able to join me live. This is kind of my stamping Saturday makeup. I, I'm not doing prizes and games, but um, I just wanted to get on, get live, show you guys what I was working on today. And I am working on a few other videos to go up on my YouTube channel soon. So if you have any questions, comments, if you need help with anything, if you'd like to place an order, you know how to get in touch with me. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye everybody. Thanks for joining.